Hi guys, first of all I want to thank you all, we are 2000 now, I wanted to make a special video, the video that you've asked me too much times on Instagram and in comments, so let's begin. I'm not sure how this guy has made this transitions, but I will try to make it look the same and edit it as easy as possible. I will be honest, to make this tutorial in easiest ways, this dude helped me a lot to figure it out. Let's begin, move the bottom video like this under the top one. Now select the top video, grab the roto brush tool, double click on top video and let's make a selection like in this video. My selection isn't perfect, try to make selection as clean as possible. As you finished selecting, click on freeze button. As freezing has finished, go back to composition and let's duplicate the roto brush layer. Select the bottom one and remove roto brush from it. Now go to the moment where the second video starts from and press T on your keyboard to open opacity. Click on opacity stopwatch icon to create a keyframe there, then go a few frames forward and change opacity to zero. Cool, first step is done. Now go to layers tab and create new camera. Move camera layer to the top of the other layers. Now create a null object. Link camera to null object and then enable 3D on all of the layers. Select null layer and make sure you are at the moment where the very bottom video starts from then press P on your keyboard and click on position stopwatch icon. Then go to the moment where the very bottom video is fully visible and then start zoom in like this. Also change position until the first car goes down like this. Now let's adjust the position of the first video, as it goes down, after a second or two, it will go fully down. To do so, select the roto brush layer and press P on your keyboard, then create keyframe at the moment when it stops at that position. Click on position stopwatch icon to create a keyframe there. Now go a few frames forward and move position all the way down. Let's adjust now scale and position of the very bottom video. Press P on your keyboard and change scale, also change position until you are happy. In case you will have this black edges, to fix this, add a motion tile to the bottom layer. Enable mirror edges and change output width and height values to 200. Let's smooth the motion and speed up a bit. First of all enable motion blur on all layers. Now select keyframes under the null and press F9 on your keyboard, then go to graph editor and make a curve like this. Do the same to all keyframes. If you don't see keyframes on other layers, select that layer and press U on your keyboard. Let's check what we have got. Nice, I'm happy with it. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching and like the video please.